I don't know if it'll catch my voice, but it almost definitely caught Isabella's sneeze. Bless you. Because <laughs> I've never used the built-in microphone on my computer. I've always used um, something more sophisticated. All right, I'm going to uh, put a finer grain paper because I'm going to work a little more detailed now. And now, regardless of the technology or medium I'm using, I will come in and clean it up. How useful is my T-square and triangle for this? Not. So, you're going to have to have drawing skills to do this. French curve, if you can't freehand the curves. Or, you could do what? Work in Painter or in uh, Rhino. How would you make your curves pretty Because I can rework them and rework them like I'm doing right now. Forever. Yes, there is. Um, I don't like them, but you can use them. Where'd you go? Since I don't use them, I haven't even looked for them in this pro in this version yet. Pen right here. Yeah. Pen tool. Okay. If you activate the pen tool, you click and then drag the bezier. It's called a bezier handle. And you just don't think it's exactly there? Oh, it's just not as. Uh, user-friendly. Okay, and then you do have uh, options in here. Um, where is the... Uh, here we go. Double-click on that. Uh, you can set the width here. Um, I've never used it. I just got curious about that myself. Uh, this tells you how the end will be. Right now it's giving a hard end. I can choose something softer if I want. I can come into my color sets. And in the color... Oh, you're not going to let me... It says no. Stroke. Hmm. It's saying no. Fine. Like I said, I don't use this very often. And then you can grab the points and move them, but I don't... It used to be an arrow right here. You can use that arrow to adjust the curve, play with its handles. Okay. But to me, by the time I've done this, I can freehand it faster. Okay? But that's me. You might find this helpful. They don't like being deleted. <coughs> huh. Doesn't want me to do anything with it. There we go. Quick curve, let's find out. All right, quick curve, where were you? Pen. Where are you, pen? Quick curve. I think quick curve lets you just freehand a curve. Yeah, and then it makes a Bezier curve out of it, but that's going to be a nightmare. Okay, because each one of those then is a point to be adjusted. And instead of getting smoothness, you get anything but smoothness. Really, if you're going to do Bezier curve drawing, which is what this is, you want to use your pen and you want to put in very few points. So you'll start, maybe put a, a point here, maybe put a point here, 
maybe put a point here, point here, and end. Okay? The fewer points you have, the smoother you'll be able to make the curve. And there are a number of tools, you, this will be in the reading, I do want you to know how to do it, so you can set the different kind of handles for different kinds of smoothness and all that. Okay, but to get smoothness, fewer points, not more points. All right. But back to freehand. Because not only does freehand, and I'm going to make that drawing color something that's not hideous. Okay. Uh, not only is freehand a little more user friendly, but it also looks more or organic, which some clients might prefer. Mine do. Uh, I work with high-end jewelry companies, and if my curve work, if my line work looks like it is done by CAD, they don't like it at all. So the reason they like the way I work in Painter is because it gives the illusion that I did it freehand. And it really isn't an illusion. This is freehand. It's freehand with a stylus. almost lost my tablet. Nobody saw that. But it keeps crawling towards the edge of the little platform as I draw and I almost made one too many marks. And there is a point of diminishing returns. When you guys uh, start printing out your work, you will realize that what I've drawn already is really clean. A 1.6 pencil in Painter is finer than a 6H lead. reason that's important is if you start cleaning up like I'm doing now and you really clean up one area then you have to really clean up the whole thing so it matches and you can keep really cleaning stuff up until you're spending days in painter doing stuff that only a dog can hear you'll print it out and your drawing will actually be too faint to see you'll have to go back into painter and darken it just to make it visible and then you'll feel really silly. Because it was just about perfect two days before. It's important that I make this seam straight at the end. Blunt that off. Clean up the bottom a little bit. Another trick in Painter, guys, is lift your your stylus off the paper. You begin to do a scrubbing thing a lot in Painter because it works. I do anyway. Problem is, if you've been scrubbing for 20 minutes without taking your stylus off the tablet, and you have to undo. Because you make a mistake. One undo and half your drawing is gone. <laughs> so make it a point of lifting this tip off every once in a while so that you don't end up drawing yourself into a corner. 
Okay? Uh, that's really fine enough. I don't really have to do much more with it other than not drawing it in the wrong area with a big fat dark line. Now if I want this to look like an eye, okay, so I know how accurate this isn't. It's pretty bad. It's, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I'll clean up my mess that I made. I can turn this into a blue line drawing really easily if I want to. Using Rhino uh, Painter's tools, it's easy to come into effects, correct colors, tonal control, correct colors, put it on blue, slide both of those over, hit OK, and then adjust colors again. Um, take it up in value. Usually a blue line drawing is a little greener than that. Maybe not so high in value. A little more intense in color. Touch more green. And that's not a bad presentation. Right? It feels believable. This definitely belongs to that. The lines look really crappy. This look big, but that actual size, that's really tight. Remember, that front view is that long. Tidying up more than that would be a questionable thing to do. Now, the one thing I didn't do is I didn't put a finding on it. It's a brooch. So I've got to decide where the pin goes. I see one end of it being in here somewhere. The other end of it could be down here, but that straight line is going to make it want to sit funny on the clothing and fall forward. So I'll put the other one here, and that's the direction the pin will go. And that should hold it without a real problem. Uh, it could have a double pin. That's also an option. If I was going to do a double pin, I wouldn't on a piece this size. But if I was going to do a double pin, I would put the barrel here, and I'd put the long pin, actually the long pin I'd put on the bottom, and the shorter pin I'd put here, and there'd be two barrels catching the end of the pin. And that would also hold. But as tiny as this is, This is fine. So I need to bring that information into my drawing. Okay. I don't have my... <laughs> Thank you, painter. Uh, I need a straight horizontal line for my pen. Canvas guides, snap to guides. I want this to be thin. 1.9. And I want it on a new layer. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and select it off that layer. I, I'm going to control paste. Control, control, uh, control C, control V. Voila. Pin. Okay. It's the thickness of the wire. Try drawing that thin of a wire by hand. It would be very unpleasant to do. Group and collapse these. And now I can now I can put it wherever I want. I'll leave those guides up, but I want to unsnap to them. Going to add a layer so I can draw the pin mechanism. I don't want to draw the pin mechanism on the same layer that I have uh, in blue because when I try and change the color to match the blue, I'll have a hard time. The blue color will change as well as the material I don't want to change. I am not going to go crazy about showing where the hinge actually is. I do know it faces away from me a little, so I'll indicate that here. Take my pin. Take my other layer, I need a little more room. Oh, it's doing that thing I was telling you about. If I hit the arrow key, it goes down this. Yeah, move those down a little bit. Maybe a little more. Move the group. Stop it, pain. That's about right. Now I can group and collapse those. Get rid of the guides. dangerous zooming in this far because it's going to seem like it's really crude when it isn't. But it does make delicate cleanup work like this a lot easier so I'll do it. I don't believe so. There are in other programs, uh, modeling software, sculpting software, for example, has a what they call a steady stroke. So it slows the pen down, but it mathematically smooths it. Do some research and find out. I've actually never tried, but that can be your homework. Find out if Painter has a steady stroke function. It would make sense that it does. And I'm sure you're not the only person in class who would like to use it. If it does, have that. Okay, there's my pin back. Effects, tonal control, correct colors, make it blue something or other. Effects, tonal controls, adjust color. Kick back the saturation. works for me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Drop them all to canvas. Oh, didn't want to do that because one of those has red dots on it. That one I want to delete. drop to the canvas so I have a flat image. Remove this. Okay. And I have a convincing little drawing. And the fact that pinback is so precise 
add something. Also detract something. It also makes the rest of it look a little more fuss uh, a little more wabi sabi. So I have to decide if I really want that thing that clean. I could have drawn a clean hand and made it look a lot doggier. Depends on what I want. I have to either go in and clean up my drawing a little bit now or go in and fussy up that mess up that pin a little bit. But yeah. 